that they were. And sometimes, I know we live in a society where we kind of feel like, well, you know, we can't really, we can't really be, be an outspoken Christian. But we all know that we should actually be living in such a way that it's already pretty outspoken. You don't look like everybody else. You don't sound like everybody else. You don't react like everybody else. What is your deal? Well, I have the Holy Spirit of God living inside me. You just think you're holier than I am. No. I said I have the Holy Spirit of God who is holier than you living inside of me. But you can have him too. He's available. He wants to be with you too. And then the last three verses of Romans chapter 12, there's been no earthquake yet. Now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, so he's able to establish us according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, and Paul's gospel was Jesus' gospel, according to the revelation of the mystery which had been kept secret for long ages past, he's laid out in this whole story, look, look, Moses talked about this, and David talked about this, and Isaiah talked about this. It used to be a secret. It's not a secret anymore. The cat is out of the bag that Jesus is the Messiah, the mystery which has been kept secret for long ages past, but now is manifest. It's not just told about, but you're seeing it. You're seeing miracles. You're seeing, you know, 5,000 people get converted in one day. You're seeing people be healed. You're seeing, you're seeing the move of God in a powerful, powerful way. You're seeing it now be manifested. And by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the eternal God, has been made known to all the nations leading to obedience of faith. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be the glory forever. Amen. Amen. To him who? Jesus, the name that is above every name. He is able to do what? Well, to establish his ministry through us. And how does he lead me? He leads me to be obedient in faith in Christ Jesus. The only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be the glory forever. I want to encourage you, now that we have gone all the way through the book of Romans, to challenge you to take a day or something and just, just when you've got some time, you know, you're not, maybe not read it all at one time, but just go back and just read it from beginning to end, the way that Paul intended you to actually read this letter and read through it and just see if the Holy Spirit just kind of highlights something and go, oh yeah, that's right. I remember that sparked a, that sparked a thought in me. That sparked a, uh, I should, maybe I should try this or maybe I should, to, should stop trying this or, or you know, I, I've, never thought about, I've never thought about reaching out to my neighbor across the street. I, I really thought, well, that, you know, I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to go there. What does the Holy Spirit want you to do now that you've gone through the entire book of Romans? How is it, because see, it's supposed to impact our life. If it doesn't impact our life, what's the point? And he wants it to impact our life. Um, next Sunday, we're going to have a great time of worship. And it's going to be a modified service. There's not going to be a whole lot of, of, of preaching, but I believe there's going to be some great testimony, and we're going to have a great time of fellowship. And then, um, then the very next Sunday is October the 5th. And uh, I, I tricked, uh, tricked Callie. I threw this in the announcements. I was going to make her actually, I wasn't going to warn her about it and just so that she'd see it and see her reaction. But I love you, so I didn't do that. I didn't, I didn't want our guardians coming over and beating me to death over there. So, um, uh, but we're going to do what, I, what, I'm, what I've entitled Top 10 Sundays. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of disclaimers. Number one, there are more than 10 Sundays. Uh, so, you know, I know because some of you all, I started the whole thing about Fifth Sunday Fellowship, and then we did it one on a fourth Sunday, and I heard about that for a long time. So, I'm just, it's like the Fairfield Four. There may be five, there may be three but that's still their name. The name of this series, and I don't usually do series, is called Top 10 Sundays. One of the, one of the Bible study guy, curriculums that I use or, or websites I use is called Bible Gateway. If you've never been on it, it's really cool. You can get all these different translations and it can give you different uh, uh, commentary and all this other stuff. And as I was praying about this, because see, I was praying, I was like, okay, Holy Spirit, I don't want to just have something cutesy that I think, oh, this will be fun. Because if it doesn't impact your life for the better, 
I'm wasting your time and I'm wasting my time. And I don't believe that's why the Holy Spirit has us here. So we fellowship, we worship, hugely important, but it's my job to, to be a discipler to the church. So I really prayed about it, prayed about it, prayed about it. Lord, what is it going to be? What is it going to be? I went to, I went to the smartest person I know, Sally, what should we do next? You know? And she's like, you're the pastor, dude. So, um, I didn't say that. but as I'm praying about it, then all of a sudden it hit me, Bible gateway, they keep records of the people who get online and research scripture. So guess what they know? They know the top 10 scriptures that people in the United States research. And I began to look through them and I was like, man, these are some really good scriptures. And I've modified one or two and tweaked one or two and added a little bit, but it's gonna be really good because what we're gonna do as we end the year is as a church, because we're gonna be doing it and the kids are gonna be doing it and, and wh however, whatever is happening with Gateway Kids and all that stuff, we're all gonna be on the same Bible verse for the, for the last three months of the year. Every Sunday, it's going to be a different Bible verse. And we're just going to, in here, we're just going to pick it apart and see what the Holy Spirit wants to say. But then here's going to be the challenge, because your kids have heard about it in Gateway Beginners or Gateway Kids or whatever's going on there. And they're going to be challenged this week. You get mom and dad to memorize this scripture with you. If we do this, we will be going into Christmas with 11 scriptures that we've memorized together as a church. We've done this before, and it's pretty powerful. So how many of y'all are thinking, I'm up for that right now until I see the scriptures. If you've given me the entire book of Proverbs, no, but no, it's not. They're all, look, I've already looked at them and going, okay, I know most of these. I can do this with everybody. I just, I just, you know, the Holy Spirit was just kind of downloading this and saying, hey, this is a great way because it, it just ties in. It ties us in as a church. It helps us to go into, into the holiday season. And, um, and so I'm really excited about it. I hope you'll be excited about it too. And he'll pray with me and uh, I'll pray with us as we move forward. So um, this morning, I just want to make sure before we end, um, if the Holy Spirit is still dealing with you about something this morning um, and you need help. So you don't always need help. Sometimes it's between you and the Holy Spirit. But there are times that it's between you and the Holy Spirit and you're thinking, man, I just need somebody to pray with me. I just need somebody to talk to me. I just need somebody to encourage me. I have this, I have this question about, is this right or is this wrong? Is this me or is this the Holy Spirit or is this the enemy? So if you have that kind of question or you have that kind of need, as soon as I say amen, then I want you to come find me or, or, or any of these people that you're looking around and you know you know somebody in here who you could go to and you could ask them a hard question and they would love on you and pray with you about that. So that's how I want us to end our service today. Otherwise, we'll just have some music and, uh, and, and just let you guys go about uh, your, your day in fellowship. So again, when I was a kid, uh, it was like, okay, if they sing just as I am one more time, I will go forward. Whatever it is that if you're that person right now, who's do? I don't know if that's what you're working, waiting for. Okay, if, if Mike says who's do, I will get it. Whatever it is you're waiting for, the Holy Spirit so wants for you to get closure, to get completeness, to get, to get full. He doesn't want you to leave here. Not, the Holy Spirit goes with you. The Holy Spirit isn't housed here. He's housed here. He's housed in you. But this is a great, safe place for you to get some things worked out if you need that. So I'm going to pray, and we're going to be dismissed to that. Let's stand. God, I thank you so much for your word. Uh, I thank you for Paul. I, I confess that I didn't used to like Paul, but I've become a big fan. Uh, I think he actually would be a, a pretty cool guy to hang out with. And I thank you, God, for the way you used him. He was always, he was always 100%. And sometimes people who are 100% can irritate those of us who are 50%. But, but, but he, he was so and is so passionate about you and about Jesus. And, and I pray, God, that I would be passionate the way he was passionate. That I literally would have the attitude that he had. Look, if you kill me, I'm with Jesus. If you leave me alive, I'm talking about Jesus. So I'm fine either way. And I really want to live my life that way. Holy Spirit, please continue to work in our lives. 
You are not done with us yet or we wouldn't be here. So I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would continue to work in our lives, that you'd bless us. Bless us as a church, that we would be doing everything you want us to do, reaching out to the people you want us to reach out to, loving on the people you want us to love on. And we don't want to waste any time or any energy or any finances on anything that's not from you. So Holy Spirit, continue to lead us, bless us as we go this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You.